guys and welcome back to another TV show review. So this one is for the Netflix series Sex Education, which I know by that title you have got to be assuming one kind of idea here of what this show must be. No, <laughs> it's not that. It is not whatever you are thinking that it is. It is not just an educational series about sex, uh, nor is it like a show to be dirty. Uh, no, no. Uh, the main character, well, the main character's mom, I should say, who is played by Gillian Anderson, happens to play a sex therapist. Uh, but that said, that's only one facet of the plotline. <laughs> it is a running thread throughout the show, sure, but it is not like the only thing here. Um, so, with that in mind, she is raising a teen son as a single parent and everything, and she's running her clinic out of her house, which maybe that's a thing in England where that's legal, because I don't think you can get away with that here, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. So anyway, obviously that causes him a great deal of embarrassment given what all she does as a teen boy, you know, with a reputation at school and everything, doesn't exactly want to be associated with that if he can help it. He has this fabulous gay best friend that throughout the series we see like an entire growth arc with, but one thing that I do give this show credit for, before we go any further into like the type of plots here, I give them credit for not taking the cheap plot device that so many other shows would have done with this and had like a whole experimentation phase between the main character and the best friend because you know normal there's plenty of shows that would have gone that route just because it's easy this one did not they gave him plenty of boyfriends plenty of experimentation but not with the best friend that was one boundary that was never even questioned line in the sand i respect that actually that they didn't do that that they didn't go the lazy way with it so honestly, I feel like that makes it more believable because of that. So anyway, that is a side note. Um, he is from like a very strictly religious family and everything. So you can assume everything that comes along with that territory. Um, he's also bullied mercilessly by this one kid at school who happens to be the headmaster's son. So that's a whole thing of its own. There's a whole plot arc between those two that will go the entire series from bully and victim to lovers to friends to they don't know what they are to kind of friends. It, it's interesting. It's interesting because it's one of those things where it sounds lame on paper, but then you actually watch it in the way that they did it. It's like, actually, that was really well done and honestly would explain a lot of the behavior. So anyway, so that's a whole thing. Um, there's like a whole cast of characters of other students at the school whom all we get to know their stories, their dynamics, their backstories, like all of the things we find out everything about everyone. Now, the kid whose mom is a sex therapist ends up fairly soon after, not on purpose, not by trying to, but accidentally kind of becomes an unofficial sex therapist to his peers because he was able to solve one person's problem so expertly that he and basically the hottest girl in school who has a reputation that precedes her but isn't exactly deserved decide they are going to quietly start a business out of this because he's so good at it. And it becomes a whole thing. And because he has all this knowledge from his mom doing what it is she does, he is able to help all these people very, very well and in like a quite adult and just generally mature way. Do I think this would happen in real life? Probably not. Probably not. But it's TV. What do you expect? So anyway... There's a lot of things that are, like, the expected issues that you would expect to come up, but then, like, it also delves into less common territory that I also respect it for. 
questions about gender and identity and about like specific problems and assault and like fetishes like the whole nine yards it goes there it unapologetically goes there and it does it without making it feel cheap it does it in a way that feels real and for each of these things it's not even just that they're coming to him for like comedic relief or anything no we see their whole plot arcs of like how his advice ends up going on to help them some of it it's not immediate some of it it takes a while before it actually works so like one in particular there's a girl that comes to him who happens to be suffering from vaginismus which honestly the fact that that even got representation on a show in the first place mind-blowing to me but the fact that they did it in a way that didn't make it seem like the end of the world or catastrophic or like it can't be fixed they dealt with it in a very human mature way including what one must do to help correct that and shows that there very much can be the possibility for eventually being able to have a normal sex life yeah yeah i respect the hell out of that like honestly that was not only really well done i thought that was cool that they included that because that's not something that you hear come up that often there's a lot of little things lots of little details like that where i'm just like damn they really went there and they did it well this is like not just yet another teenage coming of age story i mean yes on one hand it is that but it's so much more than that but there's also like it's not just about the therapy thing that he's running it grows so much further than that it goes into all the friendships all the relationships all the parental relationships with everybody the relationships with the teachers not in a creepy way but you know what i mean like it's so far reaching in so many directions and you follow all of these characters and you really do feel an attachment to like all of them which is rare with a netflix show especially i find but they found a way to do it and to do it well i'm like so this is like the coming of age story that we all deserved but didn't get until now like honestly i have so much respect for what this show is now, i saw season one back when it first dropped and when it was the only one out like i watched it and okay that was cool so when season two come out by the time it did that was when i was working so i kind of didn't have time to really get around to it and i honestly forgot about this show until recently when the fourth and final season dropped and i was like oh yeah i remember that show but it's been so long since i saw that first season i should really just start over rewatch it and just watch the whole thing so i have spent the past week and a half binging the crap out of this show start to finish it's been a whirlwind it's also been kind of awkward at moments if i forgot and left the door open while watching it because i mean since it is a british made show um they can and do get away with a lot of full frontal nudity in certain scenes so it's like you know darn well my luck that is like the exact moment somebody walks by the doorway and like looks in and i'm like i swear to god it's not porn it's not what you think <laughs> it's literally a netflix show calm down but anyway um so i mean it just it figures with binging it that much it pretty much ups the odds of somebody walking by while watching it but most people i don't think are binging the entire series in one go like that but anywho um even so though it's a very powerful show and it covers a hell of a lot of ground in a lot of directions i just i really really like the approach that they took with this i don't think i could have done it better myself honestly and not to toot my own horn but this is one of those things where other shows have tried to do something similar ish to this but fallen flat and this one though it's done so freaking well that just it's not even all predictable or anything either like there's so many plot twists that happen with it too that you don't see coming that's like oh okay 
So, I mean, I was already interested, but this is like keeping it that much more gripping to me. I like this. I like this a lot. And I'm sad that it's over now. I'm like, oh, I would have happily watched more seasons of this. But on the other hand, I see why they wrapped it up because everything was kind of coming to its natural conclusion anyway with all the plot arcs. So not really too many more places they could have gone from there. But I mean, we basically watched this cast of crew grow up from like the start of high school into college. So that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. But um, yeah, it just covers so many different things in a way that doesn't feel cheap or dirty about it. It just feels human, which is such a fine line to be walking with this sort of a subject matter, but they do the thing and they do it really, really, really well. So I personally loved it. I give this a total 5 out of 5 rating, like, honestly, as long as you're not offended by, like, little full frontal nudity and just the subject matter in general that comes up throughout, give it a watch. It's actually really, really good. So, anyway, that is it for this one, guys. So, as usual, you know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe, hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload, leave comments down below, make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my eBay, my Reddits, everything and more, it's all down below, and if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. Anyway, guys, till next time, see ya.